This morning, the new wave of COVID boosters are going into arms across the country, but what should we know about these shots? Joining us now is Dr. Neil Patel. He's an internist in Orange, and Dr. Patel, thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Doctor, I want to start off by asking you, uh, what is the number one thing that people should know about these new vaccines? The number one thing is these new vaccines are meant to protect against the latest subvariant of the Omicron COVID uh, infection, and it's meant to protect against the latest. So the idea is because the COVID infect the the virus is constantly evolving, so are the variants. Therefore, this is meant to protect for our upcoming holiday season. And by now, so many people have gotten uh, around. Why should someone consider getting this vaccine? Exactly. So the reason is we are starting to see a slight uptick in COVID infections. I have seen it also in my clinic. And it's, it's due to the prior vaccines may not be as effective against, like as mentioned, the latest variant. Uh, you just touched on my next question, Dr. Patel. Are there any concerns about the safety or effectiveness, as you just mentioned, uh, of these shots? At this time, there are no concerns. The CDC has stated they have not noticed any side effects. It is assumed that this vaccine is similar to the prior ones in terms of injection site reactions. Some people may have some headaches or body aches for the first few hours to, day, to one day, and it tends to resolve on its own. Uh, doctor, you, you said that you've noticed an uptick in the patients coming to see you. Among those cases, how severe or how serious are their illnesses? Are they having to be um, sent to the hospital um, in intensive care? How serious are these illnesses? Well, luckily now we're approximately about three, three and a half years in for almost four years into COVID now. And with that, luckily with the prior vaccines, I have not had to send any patients to the ER and no, none of my patients have been hospitalized. So what's happening is sure, COVID is more virulent in the sense that it can be spread a lot easier, mm. but the symptoms are less severe. That is good to hear. And would you attribute sure. that to the new round of vaccines that keep coming out? I think so. I think the vaccines have played a significant part, especially initially when COVID had come out. And now that more people are getting vaccinated and living their normal lives, per se, people are also developing natural immunity, uh, what we call herd immunity, mm -hmm. where about 70 percent of the overall population is considered immune. Dr. Neil Patel, thank you so much for being with us this morning. And thank, thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much.